Yes, we lived there until my aunts built flats in 1928 uh, on their old home because the, my grandfather had died and it was left to uh, my father and his brother. Was this in Kirribilli? Yes, uh, 39 Fitzroy Street, just the entrance to Carabella Street. What a beautiful sight. It must, they must have been one of the first blocks of flats. No, they weren't, because there were quite a few at Curabilly, and the people that built the flats had also built a block in Upper Pitt Street. So they were, oh no, they were starting. What were the flats like? Were they the latest at the time, very modern, roomy? Well, I think so. Uh, there were 14 flats, uh, 12 were six were two bedroom and six one bedroom and right down in the front, they're still there, are uh, two small ones underneath. They used to call those bachelor, they were one bedroom, they called them bachelor flats and the rooms were quite ample Spacious. and high ceilings. We even had fireplaces that you could use and we had a lovely view really. You could look down into Neutral Bay and uh, have a lovely view of the ferries going round and the sailing yachts of course there. Were the verandas open then? So many of the flats later seem to have a, an extra room made by closing in the verandas. No, these were open it went just across the width, or partly the width of the flat in the front. And the back ones also uh, had a flat uh, verandas. verandas, and they had a view, of course, over the city part. The top ones, of course, had the best views, naturally. And really, it was lovely, until a lot more uh, blocks of flats were built at the back of us, and then that cut off the view from uh, the harbour, but from the back ones you could see the bridge being built. Old Holbrook was there on Kirribilli Point, right alongside of the ferry. That was a That house. was a, a beautiful old stone house and it was turned into a boarding house of all things. And the grounds came right up to Carabella Street and right down to the water. They had their own swimming pools. and. Uh, the a boarding garden house was a, for guests? Yes, for guests, and it's unbelievable. It was so beautiful, and their garden was a mass of roses. I can only think of Curabilly as all rose gardens. They must have grown very much better in those days than they do now, but they were really lovely. You don't see And really orchards, uh, uh, Holbrook which is now, those the flats, of course, are there, still called Holbrook, but that's not where the house was. Oh, is it far it away? Had, it had it, it, well, it had the, it came from Carabella Street right down to the water, where all, now it's all uh, blocks of flats. And they had their own gate that came out onto the path to go down to the ferry. Mm. People who stayed in Holbrook as guests, um, would have come for a holiday or...? No, they... Uh, they were residents and lots of them remained there. That was their home and it was a beautiful home. My aunt and uncle lived there for a, a short period and I used to go there and uh, to them and it was really lovely. How did the, your... Can you remember the accommodation your aunt and uncle had? Yes, they had a beautiful great big bedroom and a sitting room, and it looked over the water, over the harbour. And the the guest house provided. It meals. was a, the old style stone house with windows, you know, regularly along yes. from the the rooms up on upstairs to a veranda outside. No, no veranda. The beautiful veranda was downstairs, on the and that opened out onto the grounds, and it was terraced to on the water side, terraced right down to the water.